elderly people who are like above 70 or 80 who are supposed to get an open heart surgery or a bypass surgery are there any alternative procedures to avoid this huge uh, scary surgeries and get for the comfortable procedures so we can't i meant to say are there any recent advances to compensate this open heart surgeries yeah so there is a lot of recent advances which came into the picture uh, like uh, last uh, 20 years we can say uh, open heart surgeries uh, there are so many restrictions in the open heart surgery the lung to be proper the brain to be proper uh, if there are any other major comorbid conditions and age itself is a high risk for any open heart surgery it's a per se so now uh, we can talk about something like a non-surgical we say transcatheter interventions like any valvular surgeries where normally you have to open the heart to change the valve or repair the valve now we can do it without opening the heart we can just go through the artery iota and intervene the valves we can repair the valves we can uh, re replace the valves and we can even close the holes with the devices so these are the latest advances uh, where, where we can do uh, if the patient is uh, not fit for the surgery or very high risk for the surgery high risk in the sense what could be the risk factors so there are multiple risk factors generally we tend to see when we are sending the patient for a surgery uh, like if the patient had any history of recurrent strokes or a major stroke, that's a very high risk. Or if the patient is having any underlying lung issue, uh, you can see now uh, we have seen the COVID era. Post-COVID, a yeah. lot of lungs were damaged. So it's very tough to uh, go through the surgical part with an, uh, uh, any uh, ventilatory support, long-term support, and the lungs may not resolve uh, while coming out. So these are the high risk 